I'm mixing up my lab stone and I'm going to be pouring this stone into the rubber molds here. And this will be our base bases for our models. Um, I've picked out the rubber molds for each section or for each uh, model. The opposing are here and the die models are here. Now I spray the die models only with some debubbleizer again. And I don't want too much, so I will blow off any remaining. I just want a light film there. That will allow us to separate the two stones here. I use my spatula now. Just place it between the dowel pins and the reverse dowel pins. Then I set it to the side and pour up. the rubber mold pour it level to the top then I take the die model just sit it right onto the lab stone, making sure that it doesn't go to one side or the other, and just set it somewhere um, on a bench or somewhere where it, where it will not be disturbed, and just repeat what I've done here on this model. Don't want to put too much into the mold, or it will create an undercut. Then on the opposing, you can just fill the rubber molds up. And just set them right on top. stone is starting to get hard. I don't know if I'll be able to do both of these. Good thing about the opposing is you don't actually have to fill them to the top.
looks like I'll be able to get one more and then I'll have to mix up a little more stone to get the last one here. There we go. Now that the lab stone is hardened, I can pull it out of my molds. And any sharp places, I can just use my lab knife to trim that off. Smooth it up nicely. You're going to want to be handling these models um, while you're making your crown and other steps and you're not going to want any sharp edges. Plus it'll look nice and presentable to the doctor. And now I'm getting ready to start sawing the sections of the model out. I'm going to clean this up a little bit here and then I'm going to grab my saw and demonstrate how we saw these sections out. 